What's up everyone, Valix Fury here again with another Godfall video. I'm going to share some more tips and knowledge today about a couple of things. Mainly I'm going to focus around some of the skills in the skill tree and what they do, how they work and how to use them to your advantage. So the main ones I'm going to focus on today are going to be Soul Shatter and Breach. They're going to be the two absolute most important ones that I'm going to focus on today because they are very helpful to know about and how to use properly when you're playing and what they do and how they work. So, to get started, Soul Shatter and Breach. So these are the perks of what they do and in order to show you how they work, I've got an image here I'm going to drag across. So, as you can see on the screen here now, I've got this image and there's this enemy and its health bar and you can see that it's got a white outline around its health bar and then this yellow bar underneath that fills up as you hit it so this white bar is the um that's the soul shatter so how this works is your light attacks will apply this white bar and obviously the more soul shatter build up you have the more that feels the faster it feels but once that's if that white bar covers an enemy's whole health bar or however much it covers if you hit them with a heavy attack it will proc that white bar the soul shatter and instantly do all of that white bar as damage so if say if i'd hit this thing two more times and the whole health of it was white and then i hit it with a heavy attack it would just instantly die and does the explosion i'm sure you've probably seen the explosions happening when you're playing but that is why and that is how it works and what it does and you can get weapons and armor that make the soul shatter do aoe damage and, and whatnot but that's that's the ex explanation of exactly how that works and what it does so you hit him with light attacks it'll build up this white bar and then when you hit him with a heavy attack it bursts all of that white bar is damage so you can stack it up and try and like one shot something with a big heavy attack if you want or what i do is i just go through my light attack light attack light attack heavy attack combo so it's constantly stacking it and then proccing it and if you have a lot of the soul shatter build up that just equates to huge damage bonuses on your combos and then the other one breach is this bar underneath here so what breach does is it builds up similar to soul shatter but once this bar gets full the enemy becomes staggered and you can do a takedown on them and if you have your takedown leveled up you can make that basically insta kill stuff by the time it's built up so you can build this up by attacking the enemy and building it up from damage or you can build it up from blocking and parrying attacks if you perfect time parries it adds a lot of breach damage a lot of breach bar and will fill this up and then once this is full they're staggered and you can do a takedown so that's how breach and shoal shadow work and that's the two main things of this video everything else here is pretty so excited now i'll talk about polarity I don't really like polarity in the way that I'm trying to use it because I use like a, my longsword and, and a mace. The way polarity works is whatever weapon you have equipped, you'll attack with and then you'll see, um, I can't really show it, but down here, how your weapon's greyed out, you'll start filling up blue. And once your second weapon's full and completely blue, you switch to it and you do like the AoE attack and then while you're using that weapon you get the 20% damage buff for 30 seconds you can't switch to that proc the polarity and then switch back to your main weapon it doesn't work you'll have to switch to that weapon use it to fill polarity and then switch back in order to proc that so that's how polarity works and you'll notice that when it fills up I don't have an image of that one unfortunately rampage is pretty so explanatory you hit a lot of times and then just get more damage so basically you get a 20% damage buff for 10 seconds even if you don't hit anything weapon timing is really self-explanatory you just press the button after you hit but yeah that's um my guide to soul shatter and breach they're two very useful very fun abilities especially soul shatter i really enjoy soul shatter because it looks cool when they explode and reminds me of playing the exploding palm monk on diablo but yeah that's it for the tips of today's video i hope that helps you and helps alleviate and explain how soul shatter and breach work 
I'm going to be covering a lot of content in this game, so subscribe if you want to see everything Godfall that I make. Find out all these tips and information that I find out. And like the video if you liked it and if it helped. And I stream daily on Twitch lately at twitch.tv forward slash valix underscore fury. So come hit me up there if you want to hang out, have any questions you want to ask, if you want to play some co-op, just hop in there. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.